One of the things we've done during lockdowns is to go occasionally to sleep over in the caravan just as a bit of a treat. And the other week, the two twins were niggling at each other. And eventually we had to say, no, nope, you've spoiled it for each other. You've got to come back through. Don't know which one did it, but whoever did it spoiled it for the rest of you. Whereas on other occasions, say when our older children passed their exams or the degrees, uh, we then took them out for meals and everybody got to go out for a meal with them. And there's some of that in a sense in this passage, but it's not just about sleepovers or meals. It's about life and death. And the death is the death of separation from God and from the true source of life. Um, you were dead in your sins, Paul would say elsewhere, that leads to eternal separation and non-life. We live a non-life. Um, whereas the life is being connected to the source of all life and through that to the rest of creation and an integrated whole life that joins us into the life of God for the continued existence of God into the future. And that's what we're invited to in Jesus, not because we earn it, but because Jesus has earned it and we share in the benefits, we share the feast.